guys. So this is my 19 week pregnancy update. I don't have too much to update you guys on, but I promised I was gonna do a pregnancy update every two weeks. So we're doing a pregnancy update for 19 weeks. So first I'm just gonna read you my baby center pregnancy update for 19 weeks and just give you a little info on the baby. So, okay, so for 19 weeks, it says your baby's sensory development is exploding. His or her brain is designating specialized areas for smell, taste, hearing, vision, and touch. Some research, su some research suggests that your baby may be able to hear your voice now, so don't be shy about reading aloud, talking to him or her, or singing a happy tune if the mood strikes you. I've been singing a lot lately because I want the baby to hear music and maybe become a superstar. No, just kidding. Um, but I have been singing a lot lately. I'm just hoping that the baby can hear. And I mean, I love to sing anyway. I sing all day, like in the car, I sing when I'm cooking. So nothing new. Uh, it says your baby weighs roughly eight and a half ounces and measures six inches head to bottom, about the size of a large heirloom tomato. So the baby is now an heirloom tomato. I mean, those things can be pretty huge. Like, like a large one is like that big. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe the baby's as big as an heirloom tomato. But anyway, so that's just a little bit of the update. There's a lot more, but I'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys. Um, but yeah, so I am 19 weeks today. And let's see, some updates that have been going on are, well, I've been craving pizza nonstop. Every single day, pizza, pizza, pizza. And I've been craving a specific pizza. And I haven't got it yet. I don't know why. I'm pregnant. I should be able to get what I want, right? Um, but I haven't got it yet, but it's Papa John's. I know it's so terrible for you, but the garlic sauce is like, just, I'm dreaming of it. I'm just thinking about it day and night. I think it happened because I saw a commercial with Papa John's and I was like, oh my God, I haven't had Papa John's in so long. And that's like my favorite delivery pizza. Um, like obviously I like you know, pizza restaurants that we have around here that you go and you get like a nicer, less greasy pizza. But like for late night delivery pizza, Papa John's with the garlic sauce. So yeah, I haven't had it yet, but I've been craving it pretty much every single day. I've been thinking about it. So we might have to make that happen soon. It just sucks because Alex doesn't like pizza like from Papa John's or Domino's or anything like that. Um, so he won't eat it, and I don't want to order an entire pizza for myself, because I'll probably eat the entire thing. But still, it might have to happen. So, you gotta satisfy your cravings when you're pregnant, otherwise you go crazy. So I've been craving pizza. Um, I'm still on my Honeycrisp apples kick. Like, still loving them, still eating a few a week. And I'm not a big apple person, but Honeycrisp apples have been just so, so good. So I'm still eating a lot of those. And yeah, those pretty much have been my cravings. Um, let's see what else. I haven't felt the baby move yet. I know that um, it should happen any time now. And I'm supposed to be like, and I guess it's not gonna be like full out kicking or anything like that, but it'll be just flutters is what people tell me. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to feel the flutters and yeah, I haven't yet, but my belly is definitely growing. It's, I seriously think every single day I look bigger. And I guess because I am, you know, I mean, the baby grows every single day. But it's like noticeable now. So when I'm at work, people stop me and they're like, oh, are you pregnant? I guess you can just totally see it. And I still feel like I'm at that awkward stage where people may not know I'm pregnant and just think like I'm gaining weight. Um, but people are still asking me, so I guess they feel confident enough to really think that I'm pregnant. So, yeah, I mean, I full out have a bump now, and it's so cute. But, yeah, so, what else? Um, definitely grown a lot this week. Ooh, okay, so soon, Alex and I will find out the baby's gender. We are so, so excited. We go to the doctor's, we find out at the doctor's office, and then we leave for Thanksgiving the following day, and we're going to do a gender reveal for my family. Um, at Thanksgiving. We are also doing a gender reveal for Alex's family um, the night we find out from the doctor. 
we're gonna go over there and I'm bringing a little cake and I'm gonna have his parents cut open the cake since we already know what the sex is. So I do have a story for you guys. A few weekends ago, I was in my best friend's wedding. I was a bridesmaid and we were standing up at the altar um, for the ceremony. We were standing up, you know, all in one line and I think I was up there for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I did have really high heels on. I think they were like five inch heels. And so I didn't want to like, you know, lose my balance or anything. So I kind of just stood there straight, um, trying to hold my balance in these heels. So I knew I was going to be in them for a while. Um, the ceremony was pretty long. So it had been like 20 minutes into the ceremony. And all of a sudden I just got this like, feeling come over me where I just like got really, really hot. My vision was completely blurry. It was like a tunnel and then like everything was blurry. I couldn't see anything. I mean, it, like literally the entire room was completely blurry and I was like, what is going on? Um, my hearing was pretty much gone and I couldn't really hear. And I started to feel really lightheaded. So I've never fainted before. So I wasn't really sure what was going on, but I kind of, you know, thought, that that was what was happening. Um, so I was like really, really freaked out. Um, but I didn't want to ruin my friend's ceremony. So I was trying so hard just to stand there and just, you know, to look normal and for it to pass. And I kept thinking, it'll just pass. It'll just pass. I'm not really going to faint. Um, this went on for a few minutes and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I was like, okay, <laughs> So I need to do something like I'm gonna I'm gonna fall I'm gonna faint so I grabbed the girl in front of me the bridesmaid in front of me I kind of just like grabbed her back and she turned around and I guess apparently I was like stark white um and so she knew immediately something was going on and she asked me if I was okay and I couldn't even really hear what she was saying at that time and then the bridesmaid behind me noticed that I was kind of wobbling and so she called out to her mom who was sitting in the front row who was also the groom's mom um and had her get up and grab me and pull me down to um, the ground that was lower than where we were and sat me down in a chair. So yeah, immediately when I sat down, my vision cleared, my hearing came back, you know, I got cooler and it, you know, I felt so, so much better and they got me water and everything. But I literally was about to faint and I've heard that that happens like when you stand up in one position for a while like you can really get lightheaded and um and also since I'm pregnant I really think that it had to do something with it I hadn't eaten too much during the day because I was doing people's makeup and then, you know we I was getting ready myself and it was just really hectic and overwhelming lots of stuff was going on that morning um so I, I ate a little bit but I didn't have enough and so I think the fact that I didn't eat too much and I was standing up there for a long period of time and I was in these like really high heels and also I'm pregnant, I think it all just meshed together and caused me to feel that way. So yeah, that was super, super, super scary. I ended up, you know, feeling so much better eating a ton and then just dancing all night and I was fine. But yeah, be careful. If you're in your second trimester or if you're pregnant at all, just make sure that you eat. Um, and if you're going to be standing in a ceremony or standing anywhere for a long period of time, don't lock your knees. <laughs> I think my knees were locked because I was trying to not to fall from the shoes. Um, but so yeah, don't lock your knees. Make sure you are very hydrated and you eat because it is scary and you don't want to faint, especially if you're pregnant. You don't want to faint. So just take care of yourself. But yeah, that's my little uh, story for you guys. That was pretty scary. Another thing is I know that I shouldn't be sleeping on my back. And I think I talked to you guys about this um, in one of my previous pregnancy vlogs. But I know that you shouldn't sleep on your back. It's bad for you. It's bad for the baby. I think it like cuts off blood flow or something. I'm not really sure. I read something online um, of why you shouldn't be sleeping on your back. And at first I just thought it was because it was, you know, you have such a big belly that it's just sitting on your uterus and then it causes you to have to pee or whatever but apparently it's more than that and you really shouldn't sleep on your back when you're pregnant it is so hard for me not to and when I'm awake I won't like if I'm trying to go to sleep I make sure I'm on you know either my left or right side um and I usually put a pillow behind me to try, kind of prop me up to keep me on my side but I'm not kidding I wake up and I'm on my back 
So I don't know if I'm asleep and I move the pillow or what happens, but every single time I wake up to like pee or like drink some water or whatever, or like just move, I'm on my back and it scares me so much because I know I shouldn't be on my back and I'm like, oh, how long have I been sleeping like this? What do I do? So that is another thing that I want to talk to my doctor about. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. I still have not got a pregnancy pillow yet. I plan to get one. I really don't know if that's going to help though because I feel like I'm asleep and I'm just going to push you away and sleep on my back. So I really don't know what to do, but it's kind of scary because when I wake up on my back, I kind of freak out and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, like, great. <laughs> what do I do now? So that has been an issue lately. Um that I'm trying to figure out how to fix. But yeah, I think that's it. I will show you guys my belly now. I have a loose shirt on, so I'm just gonna kind of pull it tight behind me so you guys can see. So, let's see here. You can see this is the belly. bigger right I mean I think it might be kind of hard to see in this shirt sorry <laughs> I don't really feel like changing but let's go to this side so that is it you can see that baby bum can't you <laughs> that is my 19 week baby bump. I hope you guys enjoyed this 19 week pregnancy update. If you have any questions for me or any advice or anything, please let me know. Leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll continue to do these updates. My next update, you guys will know the gender and I'm going to be showing some of the footage from the gender reveal that we do at Thanksgiving. So that'll be a really, really exciting pregnancy vlog and you don't want to miss it. So please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.